Hello everyone, let's start NAP plan preparations, Year 3, Mathematics, Day 25. Today we will continue measurement and geometry. We will be focusing on length, mass and capacity. Today we will be doing skill check questions 1 to 9. Question 1. What is the best measure for the length of a soccer field? A. Metres B. Centimetres C. Millimetres or D. Kilometres Let's look at the most common measurements for measuring length. Millimetres Millimetres are the shortest units of length. It is about the thickness of a plastic credit card. Centimetres A centimetre is 10 millimetres. A fingernail is about 1 centimetre wide. Metres One metre is 100 centimetres. A guitar is about 1 metre long. Kilometres one kilometre is a thousand metres. The distance from one city to another city can be measured using kilometres. Remember, one centimetre equals ten millimetres, one metre is a hundred centimetres, and one kilometre is a thousand metres. Let's return to the question. The most reasonable answer is A, metres. Question 2. Len is sitting on a chair at a dining room table. About how high is the seat of the chair from the floor? A. 10 centimetres B. 40 centimetres C. 150 centimetres Or D. 80 centimetres From the bottom of the chair to the top of the chair is about 80 centimetres. The seat is located about half of 80 centimetres, which is 40 centimetres. The answer is B, 40 centimetres. Question 3. How many centimetres are there in 2.5 metres? A, 25. B, 205. C, 250. Or D, 2,500. In 1 metre, there are 100 centimetres and in 0 0.5 metres, there are 50 centimetres. So, there are 250 centimetres in 2.5 metres. The answer is C, 250. Question 4. What is the perimeter of a 5 centimetre square? A, 5 centimetres. B, 10 centimetres. C, 20 centimetres or D, 25 centimetres. Perimeter means the distance around a two-dimensional shape. If one side of a square is 5 centimetres, then the other three sides also have to be 5 centimetres. So, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 20. The answer is C, 20 centimetres. Question 5. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? A. 15 centimetres B. 21 centimetres C. 24 centimetres Or D. 30 centimetres There are two sides of 9 centimetres and two sides of 6 centimetres. This means 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 6 equals 30 centimetres. The answer is D, 30 centimetres. Question 6. Estimate the length of this line. A, 8 millimetres. B, 2 centimetres. C, 8 centimetres. Or D, 15 centimetres. If you put a real ruler under this line, it would be about 8 centimetres. The answer is C, 8 centimetres. Question 7. What would be the best way to measure exactly the width of a bedroom? 
A. Trundle wheel. B. A tape measure. C. Paces. Or D. School ruler. The best way to measure the width of a bedroom would be to use a tape measure. Trundle wheels and paces would not be accurate. A classroom ruler would involve many small measurements. The answer is B. Tape measure. Question 8. The capacity of a common bucket is about A. 60 litres B. 10 litres C. 20 millilitres or D. 100 litres A common household bucket is about 10 litres. Let's remember this. A thousand millilitres equals one litre. A thousand litres equals one kilolitre. The answer is B. 10 litres. Question 9. Michael lives three kilometres from school. How far would he travel in an average school week when travelling to and from school? A. 6 kilometres. B. 12 kilometres. C. 15 kilometres. Or D. 30 kilometres. If Michael lives 3 kilometres from school, he has to walk 3 kilometres to school and 3 kilometres back to home. If Michael walks 6 kilometres every day for 5 days, he walks 30 kilometres in an average school week. The answer is D. 30 kilometres. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Remember, happy studying. See you in the next video. Bye!